Hi everyone, and welcome to a review of the One Piece Towel Club collaboration um, onesie jumpsuit, whatever they're calling this one. So, eagle-eyed viewers among you will notice that I'm already in a One Piece suit, and I love it. I bought this Say No Mal uh, One Piece collaboration when it came out on its re-release earlier this year, and I'll be honest, I love it. Now, I always struggle to find onesies that fit me. I say always, I've only ever really like tried a couple on. But I'm a big guy, I'm six foot five, um, it's 195 centimeters for you guys. And I'm just, I just don't fit most stuff. So I'm, I'm glad that I've got one that fits for the most part. A little tight in the legs, but I can live with it. So I'm happy to have a onesie that fits me. However, as I record this, it is the 1st of July. It's not the weather to be wearing a big, thick onesie. So I want something that's equally comfortable that I can wear in the hot weather, which is why I bought this. The Towel Club collaboration with One Piece. And I'm really excited to see if it's as good, if it's just the summary version, if it's worth the very hefty price tag. So I guess I should put it on try it out for a bit, and then discuss its merits and demerits. So let's go. Okay then, here we go. So now, the reason I bought this was because, like I said, I want something a bit cooler for the summer, but also I don't really wear dressing gowns. I don't find them that comfortable. Um, but I do, you know, still like this material. I like a bath or, you know, if you've just had a hot shower and you don't necessarily want to put clothes on straight away, I think something like this would be ideal. So that's why I've got this. Um, so that's essentially what I'm going into this whole review hoping for um, is, you know, something that's like a dressing gown, but a bit more form fitting. So those are my expectations. Let's see if it lives up to it. Now, what I'm noticing here is that it's got the same kind of embroidery over the hood as my uh, Say Normal one does. That's uh, one of their kind of like trademark looks and it's cool to see that this has it as well. We've got the um, Towel Club rubber logo there. Let's see, um, we got anything on the back? Okay, we've got the One Piece logo stitched there in the back, which that isn't actually on the front, is it? That's the only place that we've got that logo. Um, nothing else by the looks of things. Let's flip her back over. Now this is um, short-legged, which again, I think is good. I said, didn't I, that uh, on my other one, the legs were a bit of an issue, so I'm excited about that. Um, unfortunately, the zip isn't the two-way zip that uh, my full one-piece and most other one-piece uh, onesies have, which th that's a shame, because I really like that feature. As a gentleman, um, got the uh, kangaroo pouch pockets. So unfortunately, um, notice that there is a bit of a tear already in it. Um, now I had noticed that there's just a couple of little um, kind of tags of material. Here, for example, is one. Um, here's another one by the zip. Now, I get that this material is, is easy to come up, but equally, this thing's expensive. Um, and you don't really expect to have little, you know, it, well, it, a tear in the, a tear on a, a major seam is, is not so little really, is it? But um, contact a customer service about that. So I'm certain, they'll, I'm certain they'll do something about it to get that sorted. It's just a shame that, um, you know, straight out of the box is, isn't kind of ready to go. However, feature that I missed out earlier is that it, there is actually a C, uh, zip, sorry, along the crotch to unleash the shorts into more of a gown style. So yeah, that's cool that it can work as both um, a gown and a onesie. Um, that's neat. When I, when I ordered it, I didn't know that that was a feature. So pretty much all that's left is to uh, put it on. Let's go. Okay, so here we have it. And I gotta be honest, I like it. It's much baggier than that one is, which is definitely a bonus. That's also probably something you would look for in a dressing gown is for it to not be particularly tight, um, which yeah, I definitely like, because this is a large, the same, I, I pointed to it. So this is my um, say normal one, 
both large, uh, extra large, sorry. Um, I wish they did a 2XL because I would be all over that, but they don't. So both XL, but this is way baggier and nicer. Um, obviously the gown material, this feels like something I can chill in, um, in the hot weather. It was 30 degrees yesterday in England, which nuts. This is much more like something I could wear. Um, liking the shorts design, haven't yet unzipped uh, along here, will do in a second. But yeah, no, I mean, I like the way it hangs, I like the way it fits. This seems like much more um, something that I can wear in hot weather that I would love to wear by a pool on a beach or something because this is exactly actually what I'd, what I'd wanted a dressing gown that isn't, you know? Okay, so should we give the gown look a go? Now you're gonna see um, my boxes here, probably. I am wearing something though, thank goodness. All right, so we're gonna unzip it from this side. There we go, so now it's in gown mode. And actually this is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know that it looks as stylish. This kind of like flap is a bit weird, but it feels all right. And you know, this is now basically a dressing gown that you step into instead of pulling around, isn't it? So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I think I might use this mode more than I use the shorts one, as long as there's nobody, uh, you know, nobody watching because it doesn't look that great. But yeah, no, I like it. Pretty cozy. So I'm gonna wear this for a couple of hours, just around the house, doing bits and bobs. I'm not gonna have a shower yet because it's still the morning. Um, but then I will check back in, in the office, once I've just kind of worn it and just got a feel for things. Okay, so I've worn this now for the last uh, couple of hours, just around the house, doing some bits on my computer, went out into the garden with my new kitten, um, and just generally worn it around a bit. And I am very happy with it for the most part. Um, I think it fulfills that briefing of wanting a dressing gown that fits a bit. Now, there's two big kind of problems here and you know I would love to to just only speak the praises of of this thing because I do really like it and uh, I'm happy with my purchase so this thing's 130 pounds now before buying it I did some research into just kind of a de what's what's a decent gown going to cost is there anything else on the market like this um, one piece actually do or did a different towel based one which maybe is where this came from and th it's not that much more expensive than a decent gown but what I'm not necessarily feeling from this is overwhelming quality which is really disappointing so my, my say normal um, one piece loved it I think the quality the attention to detail um, you know the the um, the double zippers, the little patches, the kind of the shoulder pads, the everything feels legit. So this is not a slam on, on one piece by any stretch of the imagination. It's not a slam on this, to be honest, but what I'm not getting, I don't feel like this is a luxury product, which I think for 130 pounds and looking at other market things, it probably should feel that way. Now, what it is, is fairly unique. So you're weighing up there, okay, luxury against it being pretty much the only one that's like this. And, uh, and that's, that's kind of the decision there. So it's like you could get a really good gown or you can get, you know, well, this, which is like a, a kind of middle of the range quality um, one piece. So there you go. That's, that's kind of the compromise there. And that's what I'm struggling with. And obviously that leads me on to uh, this tear in the seam now that's that's more of a glaring error now i'm sure this isn't representative of every towel one piece that they're going to sell and i'm sure that they'll put it to rest somehow with um customer customer support but i have to wait two days to find that out i will leave in the description um what happens with this tear but it's like you know, when you spend something like this, you've got the UPS delivery comes and oh, can't wait to open it. And then, and you saw, I was, I was excited about this thing and I still am, but it's like, it's just taken the edge off um, something that I was, I was stoked about. I fully intend on using this, you know, after, after 
a bath and uh, maybe have to go in a hot tub and taking it on holiday and stuff. And I still think it will be great for that. Um, but it would be doing a disservice if I didn't kind of point out that there are a couple of flaws. Um, I, you know, I do like the features that are there. The fact that it's these kind of bits of rubber um, that there's, and this this is this is a good one. There's a lining on all of the zips, like this, because that can be an issue. Um, anyone that's had kind of a fluffy thing with zips, it's so annoying when stuff gets stuck in the zip. So to see that there's there's that um, to kind of keep the fluff out of the zip. That's really good, and it's it's a nice light fabric. It's really comfortable, um, but it is a kind of an off-the-shelf gown material. There's nothing particularly spectacular about this. You know, still got little tags like this coming out. Um, so, I think I'd be more comfortable if it was around the hundred pound mark with this thing. But you know, you're paying a bit of a premium for it being towel club, for it being one piece. That's kind of my overall review of this thing, having used it only for uh, a couple of hours, four hours at this point. So um, I hope that's useful if you're looking at buying one. If not, well, I hope you enjoyed my review regardless. So I realize that there may be a fair few uh, new faces to this channel. So if you haven't been here before, uh, welcome. First off, I got a ton of what I think is cool content, reviews like this, but also stuff to do with like bobsleigh that's what i do full time I'm, I'm a bobsleigh athlete um just general adventures like going to everest and and that kind of thing and it would mean the world if you subscribed to this channel and threw a like down below because i really enjoy making stuff like this and i would love it if this channel were to just blow up and 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 that's all i want is for people to see my videos i'm not fussed about making money off YouTube or anything. I just want to get this out to the world and let people see just the stuff that I make because that's why I do it. So if there's any way you can help out, it would mean the world. Either way, have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.